Most improved team in the Hero Indian Super League, Hyderabad. in season six of the Hero Indian Super League who have struggled on the road. They feel the pain. You must pick yourselves up. The goalkeeper has made an absolute calamity of it. No clean sheet. It's poor keeping from Kamaljit. New management, a lot of new players. Every player back behind the ball there for Hyderabad. As the curtain fell over a season full of setbacks and despair, there was light that made our path to the future brighter. Well, uh, from the last season to this season, the, the I guess uh, most of the squad was replaced, and. Uh, with the new Spanish players coming in, we obviously expected a really good game. Early days here, seven minutes in, smart quarter. Will it be a shot from distance from the youngster? It is! You know, I would say it was more like uh, we had decent expectations. We didn't have like a high expectations from the squad. Considering that, you know, we just wanted to see a very good brand of football, first of all, from uh, the club. And that is what we got in the end. Adidane against Ashdeep Singh and Adidane straight up the middle. As sweet as that. The whole format of the team was changed and uh, I guess the team were really worked up to our expectations. Still Adidane is free and he gets it wrong again. Young prospect uh, that uh, you know, we were just reading a lot about him uh, through articles and a couple of other uh, media sources was Akash Mishra. Uh, who started as our left back and uh, you know he was simply amazing. We had a clear picture of what we wanted and change was imminent. What was important was getting together a group of people who wanted to be here. So started our search for the up and comings. So um, obviously the season was an extremely tough uh, season for us, the, uh, our first season in the ISL. Um, we knew it was going to be challenging and uh, we were prepared for um, uh, you know a challenge uh, challenging season ahead um, we obviously hoped that the start would be better and uh, results would be uh, uh, much better than we expected especially after our first uh, home win in Hyderabad we thought you know we would sort of kick on and uh, make it a good uh, season for us um, Again, while the results weren't going our way, we knew we had to start planning for uh, the remainder of the season and the season beyond. And that's when we uh, brought, made some key changes. Uh, Sujay Sharma was brought in as director of football. The club brought in an experienced head in Sujay Sharma, someone who'd worked in Indian football for over a decade. Sujay came on board as the director of football in December. And this was when the planning for not just the next season, but the next few years at the club started. Yeah, obviously, so when I joined in December 2019, uh, we were pretty sure that uh, we wanted to have a much uh, better season, the coming season and lay the foundations uh, for uh, the good future at the club. Uh, with all the potential which uh, 
uh, Hyderabad City and Hyderabad FC had. Uh, season 2019-20 was not going as per plan, but uh, we realized there was an opportunity uh, to build on it. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, very quickly, before we tell you the program, maybe 30 seconds or 10 seconds. Let us remember whoever God you believe. You know, okay? yeah. Humble, skilled, and willing to learn. It was clear that this group of youngsters is what we need to walk the right way. Winter window came in January. Uh, we felt uh, there were uh, two, three t uh, players we could make a move for who could help us uh, going forward in the, in the long term. A revamp of the personnel, but not without identifying the ones who belong in our group, was key to any upturn in form. So initially when the squad uh, came out, uh, I was happy to see a couple of old faces like Ashish Rai, Nikhil Pujari and a couple of others. And uh, one among those was also Halicharan Nazari because him coming from Kerala made a lot of uh, impact to our squad this entire season. So I was excited uh, to know that you know this will be the squad uh, that we will be having for this season. Something. Extending contracts of key players who we believed in while bringing names that can fit right in, the drive of recruitment was all planned. Obviously, the philosophy at the club was uh, to try and bring in uh, talented young players uh, who would uh, help the club achieve success and also, you know, relate with uh, the young fans we were planning we were planning on creating. We were pretty sure on how, uh, you know, we wanted to play. We wanted to play a good, attractive uh, brand of football and uh, we were targeting uh, uh, players who would fit into that style of play and who would strengthen the team uh, along that line. So we started identifying our targets whom we would move for in the in the summer to fit into that uh, style of play and the targets for the team to be uh, competitive and challenge for the playoffs in the next season. Um, so I think that was the that was really the start, um, you know, uh, and uh, we were extremely happy with the way uh, you know we did the business in the Jan transfer window, and uh, I think that really set the tone for uh, the, uh, the the new season. And this was made easier with our partnerships with two of the finest clubs in Europe. First, with German giants Borussia Dortmund, known for their commitment to youth and, of course, their fans. Dortmund have always been a club keen to develop young talent. It falls in line with what we want to achieve with the club and this was an easy decision. The partnership with BBB is a historic one for Indian football and a start of a new era at HFC. We at HFC are committed to developing the football ecosystem in the region and our association with BBB will go a long way in helping our club achieve success both on and off the pitch. What uh, Varun has just mentioned, it's it's not a partnership and I think knowing Varun for a while, this is more like a friendship, you know, and it's it's very, very close that, that uh, close to our hearts that, this, uh, that we realize this relationship. Second, Marbella FC, a club in Spain with one of the best infrastructures in football. The base of the structure was now in place. From here on, it was all about the steps we took while reacting to the challenge posed by the global pandemic that would shape our future.